hello friends i hope you guys are doing well in today's video it will be a combination of new arrivals at lowe's garden center great perennials to add for your fall planting along with perennials they have in the clearance section anyway so let's start with this beautiful sedum this is eight dollars and 98 cents it will get 18 to 24 inches tall and wide it's non hardy from zones one to two and it prefers full sun and this is an upright perennial i do enjoy having sedum in my garden because the blooms changes to the fall colors and the pollinators love it look at this look at my bee friend here yep it's great for the pollinators also all right friends and let me share with you if you have a sedum in your garden or if you're going to purchase a sedum the foliage you will see damage and the foliage is from the birds the birds love to eat at the foliage believe it or not yes it's also drought tolerant and it loves the heat I hardly ever water the sedums I have in my garden. And over here we have this beautiful plant for $8.98. Friends, anytime I see the Lowe's brand, there's never a tag in it. Anyway, so this is the Russian sage. It's hardy from zones 4 through 9. It will get 28 to 32 inches tall. It loves full sun. It is drought tolerant and easy care. So I did some research for you because as I said, anytime this brand which i think is lowest brand there's never any directions or anything in the tag to tell you how to take care of the plant anyways so that's great also for the pollinators and you should smell it, it smells so good Alrighty, friends so in front of us i'm here staring at these lilies i'm like lily at this time it says they bloom in summer they're eight dollars and 98 cents but these are new arrivals they will get 12 to 16 inches tall and 12 to 14 inches wide and they're non hardy in zones one to two i absolutely love lilies they're great in the garden but i was somewhat confused why they have lilies now and they're blooming in summer and not so, so much fall but anyway who knows so i have these red ones in the garden and i love them and then here they have the tiny pearl and this is how you want to purchase your lily with the buds already closed they will last longer for you and not in front of us with the buds opened but it's up to you however you want to purchase your plant go right ahead but if you want your blooms to last longer get it with the buds closed and they have a lot of them friends and also uh, later on i'll share with you monrovia they have lilies too so maybe this is normal for the fall season even though on the tag it says they bloom in summer anyways so in front of us we have this beautiful pink gara for eight dollars and 98 cents it will get 12 to 18 inches tall and 16 to 20 inches wide it's non hardy in zones one through five and it loves full sun and this is a pollinator attracted to yes the pollinators love gara and friends if you enjoyed my video so far i do appreciate if you can take the time to subscribe and if you're already subscribed thank you so much and don't forget to click the like button and if you're new to my channel special welcome and if you're coming back welcome back to you i do appreciate your support anyway so here we have this beautiful gara perfect for you to put in your garden Alrighty, friends here we are so these are echinacea look at these beauties in front of us and i love the orange plastic containers they come in all right so this is a shy and spirit cone flower for 29 dollars 98 it blooms summer and fall it's an upright perennial and it allows full sun and your echinacea will get 24 to 36 inches tall and 18 to 24 inches wide and they're non hardy in zones one two three these are great for your garden i strongly recommend echinacea if you do not have any echinacea i recommend picking up some and plant them in your garden you will love them pollinators love these echinacea in the winter the goldfinches love eating the dried corn flowers so make sure you leave your blooms up for the birds in the winter Alrighty, and then over here from Proven Winners. 
so this would be like the russian sage this one is a denim and lace this is from proven winners 1298 and it smells so good it will get 28 to 32 inches and it's hardy in zones four through nine it blooms mid-summer through mid-fall yes this is definitely a great perennial for you to put in your garden it's drought tolerant and it loves the full sun highly recommend this look at the dainty blooms and they're so pretty and this is what i was telling you about monrovia yes they have lilies too for 12.98 so i think this is probably normal to have in the fall time and it blooms summer right and they will get 10 to 12 inches tall and wide and they're hardy down to negative 30 to negative 40 degrees so maybe this is normal i just think it's kind of weird they have lilies that bloom in summer and we're approaching the fall season but anyways let me get off that topic and over here one of my favorite shrubs this is your mars madness hibiscus for 22 dollars and 98 cents it loves full sun they will get four to five feet tall and six to seven feet wide they're hardy down to negative 20 to negative 30 degrees and it blooms summer and fall and friends i did a video with hardy hibiscus i'll link it for you down below so you can check out this plant if you never heard of hardy hibiscus there is something such as that yes they will return for you they're different from the annual tropical hibiscus plants anyway so here we are now in the clearance section and they added some really good perennials in the clearance section Alrighty, so right here next to this echinacea, this one is Clarence. This is Artesian Collection Red Ombre Coneflower for $29.98. This will be half off. It blooms summer and fall. It will get 16 to 28 inches tall and 10 to 25 inches wide. And they're not hardy in zones 1 to 3. So if you're looking for echinacea, check the clearance section first. I know they've been putting a lot of plants in the clearance section. Hopefully you get lucky and you find plants at your location. I know some of you said you guys have nothing at your location. So I hope you get lucky. So then you some luck over there, friends, wherever you are. And these are the ones we saw already. They're definitely not clearance as yet. All right, so here is my clearance section. They added new perennials in here. All righty, so let's see what we have here. So these are some salvias, but they're hardy, not in my zone. So I'm not going to share those with you. But anyways, so friends, here we are. These are purple de oro, de lily for $8.98. They will get 24 inches tall and wide. They're non hardy in zones one to two, and they prefer full sun and they're upright perennials. Friends, look at the blooms on here. And I must admit, I do not own not even one de lily in my garden, but I love looking at these blooms so pretty so this will cost me four dollars because it's in clarence according to the clarence tag there that will only be four dollars and over here friends which i'm confused look at that that's 798 and then to my right here it's 898 and they're the same plant right i thought that was really weird but anyways and then let's see what else we have here oh my goodness friends they have the butterfly kisses cone flower and clarence for 1298 and of course this is a perennial it will get 16 to 18 inches tall and 14 to 16 inches wide and it's hardy down to negative 20 degrees and i think i shared this with you in a video before the blooms look like a scoop of ice cream yes and i think these are new to the garden center from what i can remember first time seeing these from monrovia and i think that would only be eight dollars anyways and here we have sun kiss coreopsis for 8.98 this will only be four dollars yes it blooms spring and summer And a coreopsis will get 12 to 14 inches tall and 14 to 16 inches wide. It's non hardy in zones 1 to 3. So 
So I'm just here digging through, see if I find anything different. And here we are. We have another Daylily Endlessly Coral Daylily 1298 also in Clarence. So from here on, all these plants are Clarence. And it will get 12 to 14 inches tall and 12 to 18 inches wide. It blooms spring and summer and it's hardy down to negative 30 to negative 40 degrees. And this is a salvia I was telling you guys about. This is non hardy below 32 degrees. So it depends on where you are. This may be a perennial for me. I'm in zone 6B, 7A. So that will not be a perennial for me. And if you want to know your hardy zone, simply take your zip code, put it in Google, and it tells you what zone you're in. So that way you know if the plant will survive your winters. I know I say this every video, but just in case, if you didn't hear me, you know now right <laughs> and then we just have this one random brunera for $15.98 that will be half off I purchased some of those before and I'm just going through here friends I'm just sharing plants with you that's new to the clearance section all right friends so look at this okay i thought i hit the jackpot when i saw these these are the little gold star rebecca for 22.98 so that will be half off it blooms summer and fall and it's already in the clarence section fall is almost here well maybe a month away and it's already in the clarence section and it's not hard in zones one to three it will get 14 to 16 inches tall and wide so if you see this pick it up and put it in your garden this is such Echinacea, coneflower, they're two great perennials I highly recommend in your garden. The pollinators love them. They're drought tolerant. They're sun loving perennials. Great for any garden. So I was surprised they had these in the clearance section. I do have already, so I'm not going to pick up any more of these. And they do spread where you can share with friends, neighbors, co-workers, whoever. And here we have this Sun Magic Vintage White Coneflower for $22.98. It will bloom summer and fall. It loves full sun. It will get 24 to 26 inches tall and 16 to 18 inches wide it's not hardy in zones one to six and friends i think the name is perfect if you see the blooms on here they do have the vintage look they really do it's almost like a what is that it's not white but it's just a different shade of white beige but you could see the vintage look that's probably where they got the name from it's different all right and as you know coneflowers pollinator attractor i just saw it be up to the top there and you could just deadhead them to promote new growth if you want if you have a lot in your garden you can do that and if you just start to collect them i will just leave the cone heads on to give the birds some food in the winter and they probably might probably self seed in your garden believe it or not i have a lot in my garden that i did not plant anyways so let's keep going through here see what else we can find they do have a lot of shrubs but i share these with you before in other clarence videos i don't want to repeat the same plants to you Alrighty, friends here is this do you remember this i think it's last week i posted the video with um plants at lowe's and i featured this friends it's on clarence already i'm like what anyway so this is a combination combo and here we have the purple one is the corabelle which is a purple and then the green one is a foam flower and there's a sedge or sage grass in there for $29.98 so this is only $15 and this planter is perfect for the shade and if you see this at your garden center what I would do I would probably make a beautiful fall shade planter from this that's what I would do because I just love the colors take it out and then put it in your own planter that you have and then add a pumpkin or something in there so pretty or grass or well, however you want to decorate it but it is definitely a good price for 15 dollars. you get three plants in here yes but i was surprised it was just a week and it's already at the clarence section anyways so let's move around here see what else we can find and here friends we have some show off for scythia first spring flowers 
their hardy from zones 5 through 8. They will get 5 to 6 feet tall and wide and they love sun or past shade and friends in spring. I think I shared this with you before. In spring, the foliage is yellow. Do you see it right here? Beautiful and they make perfect hedges. Yes, and then after spring, then in summer, it turns to green and then you could cut it back and then in spring it gets taller and it gives you the yellow color all over again so this is one shrub i would strongly recommend if you're looking to create a hedge and here is the view of what it looks like and this is from proven winners and this will be half off Alrighty, let's move over here. Look here. Do you remember these? These were also in my video from last week. Yes, they're already in clearance. I couldn't believe it. So these are Samarina Ekebekia. Oh, I like that word. For $29.98, upright perennial. They bloom in summer. Now it's full sun. They, they will get 18 to 30 inches tall and wide. They're non hardy in zones 1 to 5. I love the blooms on here. And I'm here editing this video and I'm thinking to myself, I probably should have picked that up. It's different, right? It reminds me of Black Eyed Susan. It's beautiful. But, anyways, if I go back on this there, maybe I'll get it. We'll see. All right, friends. And they have these roses. I shared these roses with you last year. I was going crazy with double knockout roses. I have enough double knockout roses in my garden, especially the pink and the red. I do not need any more. But if you're looking for a rose to add to your garden, I strongly recommend double knockout roses. They're easy to take care of. They will get three to four feet tall and wide. They're self cleaning and they're disease resistant. Really good rose for you to put in your garden. Anyway, friends, I hope you enjoyed this video and I just wanted to bring to you what's new at Lowe's Garden Center and also the newly added clearance plants they have. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers!